Chapter 255 The Setting Sun Forest. These soul engineers didn't show any mercy at all, and all nine soul paralysis rays fired at nearly the same time. One could tell that they had a lot of practice, as their shots didn't just target them, but also blocked off their paths of escape. Huo Yuao was also a soul engineer, and he could be considered one of the most outstanding soul engineers of Shrek Academy's younger generation. Huo Yuao would have let himself down if he was so easily taken down by these class 4 soul paralysis rays. A yellow light suddenly expanded from Huo Yuao's body and enveloped the two of them. A class 6 soul barrier. Nine beams of light landed on the barrier and created ripple after ripple. But the soul barrier didn't so much as tremble. Huo Yuao knew that they had no choice but to fight. Don't do anything, Kyua. Huo Yuao instructed Wang Kyua as his eyes suddenly lit up. The air within 30 meters of them seemed to contort, and the nine soul engineer's second shots all missed, while three of them were accidentally struck by their companions and fell from the sky. Light erupted from behind Huo Yuao's back as he activated his soul thrusters explosively and crashed against two other soul engineers. He had never been afraid of meeting force with force with anyone at his level, except for Wang Kyua. Furthermore, these soul engineers were just four ring soul ancestors, and they weren't even powerful soul ancestors. He forcefully knocked these two soul engineers out of the air, and golden light flickered in his eyes as he turned towards Mu Shui, who was about to make a move. Mu Shui suddenly felt an intense dizziness in her head, and immediately lost her balance. They were high up in the sky, and losing control meant she could no longer hover, so she plummeted towards the ground. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and save her. Huo Yuao shouted at the soul engineers before they could fire off a third wave of soul paralysis rays as he dragged Wang Kyuo off and turned around to run. Three of the soul engineers were struck by their own paralysis rays and plunged limply through the air. Mu Shui was struck by Huo Yuao's spiritual confusion and temporarily lost control of her body. The other two that were sent hurtling through the air were relatively stronger than the others, but Huo Yuao didn't damage their flying type soul tools, so they could still move around. The remaining four soul engineers were able to rescue their fallen comrades, but that also meant they couldn't pursue Huo Yuao and Wang Kyuo anymore. Huo Yuao shook his head lightly as he watched the falling soul engineers and their comrades who were attempting to rescue them. He controlled his flying type soul tool and positioned himself accurately behind Wang Kyuo before he pressed his hands against her back and activated the soul thrusters. Searing white flames extended from behind his back, and Huo Yuao pushed Wang Kyuo forward as they rocketed through the air. They raced for several hundred meters before he turned around as he held Wang Kyuo's hand, and they immediately completed their martial soul fusion. He pushed his flying type soul tool to the highest possible speed, and the two of them transformed into a ray of light as they disappeared over the horizon. By the time the Heavenly Soul Empire's team of soul engineers finally settled down, the two of them had already become two black dots in the distance. Huo Yuao and Wang Kyuo had completely vanished from their field of view when they managed to gather themselves. Bastards. Mu Shui's fists were tightly clenched, her pretty face all tensed up. What should we do, team leader? Do we report to our superiors and request reinforcements? These two are difficult to deal with. One of the soul engineers whispered to Mu Shui. The fury on Mu Shui's face vanished and she answered coldly, There's no need. I can tell from their behavior that they don't mean any harm. Otherwise, do you think we'd still be hovering in midair? Let's go back. I will report this to our superiors. She was still rational. If Huo Yuao had really wanted to hurt them, he definitely would have had something else up his sleeves if he could release a class 6 protective barrier. It was unlikely that any of them would have survived this ordeal if Huo Yuao had unleashed his true abilities. Wang Kyuo didn't struggle as Huo Yuao grasped her hand. She was being pulled along, and this meant she was positioned. This meant she was positioned slightly behind him, and could clearly see Huo Yuao's profile. Huo Yuao's face was still scrunched up like before, and his expression was still as black as ever. However, he was a lot calmer than he was when he had left the academy. Wang Kyuo felt the circulation of soul power between their bodies, and their soul power was intertwined and even flourished. Her eyes were a little lost and vacant. This feeling. Their combined efforts had raised their class 6 flying type soul tools flight speed to the highest possible level, and Heaven O City was now far behind them. An enormous forest gradually came into view in the distance. They were about to reach their destination according to the map's instructions. It was common knowledge that soul masters shouldn't fly above a place inhabited by soul beasts, as it made them easy targets. Huo Yuao dragged Wang Kyuo along and quickly descended from the sky, and naturally let go of her hand once they landed on the ground. Have you not seen enough after staring at me for so long? Have I recently become more handsome? Huo Yuao turned around and smiled at Wang Kyuo. Wang Kyuo grunted and said, Why didn't you kill those people? They were so unreasonable. You didn't let me fight, either. Huo Yuao laughed exasperatedly. They were just executing their duties, and they had no intention of hurting us. How could I kill them? Furthermore, we did trespass into a city's airspace, so we were in the wrong. Is this the place? Wang Kyuo didn't pursue the matter, instead changing the topic. Her eyes turned towards the vast forest in front of them. Huo Yuao nodded and retrieved the map. He had already determined their direction while they were still flying, and the forest had a jagged patch at this location, which was easy to find when they were looking down from high in the sky. It was a lot easier to follow the map and venture into the forest after finding this prominent geographical feature. Let's get going. Wang Kyuo was the first to move, and she widened her stride towards the forest. Be careful. Huo Yuao hurriedly caught up with her. According to the map's markings, the place we are looking for is full of dangers. Wang Kyuo tilted her mouth indifferently and said, It's just a tiny setting sun forest. How dangerous can it be? Don't forget that I lived in the Great Stardo Forest by myself for a year. Huo Yuao had nothing else to say. She was incredibly powerful, after all. However, he activated his spiritual detection at once and shared it with her before they proceeded. The reason why those soul engineers had lost their ability to aim was due to spiritual interference, a soul skill of his that had been continuously evolving. It was also a soul skill that Huo Yuao hadn't used for a long time. The logic was the same as when he used imitation when he faced the three evil soul master brothers in the Great Stardo Forest. Not using this soul skill didn't mean it wasn't good. He had to hide it because it was far too powerful. Spiritual interference wasn't as brutal or forceful as spiritual shock. However, there wouldn't be any negative backlash, and he could use it continuously. This soul skill was a nightmare for most soul masters, and could cover an increasingly larger area as Huo Yuao's cultivation increased over time. Huo Yuao could currently cover a radius of 50 meters at this point, and he could reach 100. He could reach 100 meters if he was focusing on a smaller target area, and he could reach 200 meters if he used his eye of destiny. This was the reason why Huo Yuao had been so calm and composed when the soul engineers had surrounded them. Huo Yuao had once remarked to Skydream that Skydream had changed his entire life, and that statement was absolutely true. He could only have today's success and his exemplary accomplishments with the abilities and help that Skydream had given him. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't even have passed Shrek Academy's freshman examination. The setting sun forest's vegetation was a little sparse compared to the Great Stardo Forest, and the plant species was slightly different as well. The main reason for this was due to their distinct geographical locations. The Great Stardo Forest was located in the continent's central regions, and the temperature there was pleasant. The temperature within the Great Stardo Forest remained between 20 to 30 degrees Celsius year round, while winter was almost non-existent, and ice and snow were rarities. The setting sun forest was more than a thousand kilometers north of the Great Stardo Forest. If they traveled far enough north, they would enter the extreme north, and so this forest's temperature was much lower than the Great Stardo Forests. Under such circumstances, coniferous trees were the main plant species found in this area, as they were more suitable for living in below average temperatures. There were also some subtropical plants in the area as well. There were not that many species in this forest compared to the Great Stardo Forest, and therefore it appeared to be comparatively scarce. However, the plants that could survive in a place like this would naturally have superior
60% of his maximum speed, while Wang Qiu followed closely beside him. The two of them had a tacit understanding, and they didn't hold each other's hands anymore. They were both exceptional individuals among everyone else at the same level, even before they had their martial soul fusion skill. Soul masters would only truly enter the realm of high-level soul masters when they got their seventh soul ring. For people like Huo Yuao and Wang Qiu, who were both prodigious soul masters with ultimate martial souls, their respective strengths were comparable to that of a seven ring soul master. They were deep within the setting sun forest after racing forward for about two hours, and the vegetation became increasingly dense the further they went. However, what made Huo Yuao surprised was that they had already gone deep into the setting sun forest, yet he still hadn't detected any powerful soul beasts with spiritual detection. They rarely came across any thousand-year soul beasts, let alone ten thousand-year soul beasts. The occasional thousand-year soul beasts that dared to come near with malicious intentions were chased away in fright when Wang Qiu released a little bit of her aura. They hadn't had a single fight after traveling for two hours, an experience that could even be described as unimaginable. Let's take a break. Huo Yuao had regained his composure after fusing with the soul bone before this. Wang Donga still had more than two years before her injury would take her life, and this matter wasn't that urgent. Huo Yuao had also seen how incredibly powerful Nui Tian and Titan were with his own eyes, and if a powerful individual like Nui Tian said that this place was filled with dangers, then it couldn't be false. Even though they hadn't encountered any trouble with soul beasts on their journey thus far, Huo Yuao still decided to take a break after traveling for a certain duration of time so that they could recover to their optimal states before they pushed forward. He had been inside many places inhabited by soul beasts, and his experience told him that maintaining his best condition was the number one law of survival. His abilities were relatively formidable, but they still paled in comparison to a world filled with soul beasts. They found a place that was higher than the areas around it so that they could conveniently survey their surroundings and make it harder for them to get ambushed. They rested while munching on their rations at the same time. How far are we? Wang Qiu asked. Who are you out answered? Not far. The sky is still bright, so it's easy to tell the direction. We will probably be nearing our destination within two hours. Wang Qiu nodded and said, You out. I don't know why, but I feel as if something is not right. Hey! Who are you out was astonished, and he had always been impressed by Wang Qiu's senses. She had the golden dragon's perception, which was probably more sensitive and at a higher level than his spiritual detection. After all, spiritual detection could only detect tangible things and real things, while Wang Qiu's golden dragon perception had some clairvoyant abilities. What's wrong? When did it begin? He hurriedly pursued the issue. Wang Qiu answered, I can't quite put a finger on it. There's this unsettling feeling in my heart, and it's there even though it's not serious. It began a few moments ago. It seems like the setting sun forest does have some abnormal entities. Who are you are frowned and said, Can you tell where this unsettling feeling is coming from? Wang Qiu glanced at him and said, It's coming from the direction we are moving towards. This is the reason why I asked how far we are from our destination. I'm getting this ominous feeling even when we're still two hours away, and that means this unsettling feeling will become an alarming and perilous feeling if we continue forward. I suggest we turn back. Wang Qiu's attitude was extremely she was extremely solemn when she uttered these words. Who are you went silent and began to contemplate. This was the first time since he had met her that this girl had shown such subtle fear. Yes, she's right. We still have two more hours to go, and her golden dragon perception is already sensing danger. How perilous will the dangers we face on this expedition be? Wang Qiu didn't push him, and returned to silently eating her rations. Who are you out gobbled his rations in a few mouthfuls, and he drank some water before he started to rest. He didn't meditate, as resting like this could also help him recover his expended soul power, and he could also prepare himself. Wang Qiu's eyebrows knitted slightly. She couldn't tell what decision Who are you had made from his expression, but she was sure that he was considering her words. This fellow had always been quite composed. Fifteen minutes went by. Who are you out opened his eyes once more, and Wang Qiu opened her eyes at the same time, as if she had felt something, and looked in his direction. Go back. Who are you are muttered calmly. All right, Wang Qiu stood up, and a rare smile appeared on her face. Composure is a virtue. She turned around towards where they had come as she spoke. She took but a few steps before she unwittingly stopped in her tracks and turned back. Who are you are was not there anymore, but he wasn't behind her. He was moving forward in the opposite direction, which meant he was going towards their initial destination. Hey, did you not say that we're going back? Wang Qiu shouted. She sounded a little melancholic. Who are you are didn't stop moving as he said, you can go back by yourself. You didn't have to accompany me on this dangerous adventure in the first place. Mind your own safety on the way back. Goodbye. He began to pick up the pace and sped deeper into the setting sun forest as he spoke. Wang Qiu was rooted to the spot. She could feel an unprecedented aura from Huo Yuan's body, and she felt as if his frame had become a lot bigger than before in that instant. She felt as if nothing could stop him on his path forward. Who is he trying to save that's making him so stubborn and persistent? Family, perhaps. But he doesn't have any family. All he has left are his enemies. A strange look flickered across her eyes, as if she had just recalled something. Wang Qiu rubbed her fist and finally stomped on the ground as she launched herself in Huo Yuan's direction. Wang Qiu was a lot faster than Huo Yuan in terms of short distance explosiveness, and she caught up with him in no time. Thank you, Huo Yuan said without even turning back. What are you thanking me for? Wang Qiu's tone didn't sound very pleasant. Huo Yuan said solemnly, but you can chase me down means you are now my friend in my heart. Wang Qiu sounded a little depressed as she said, So you haven't been treating me like a friend this whole time? Huo Yuan said, No, I'm talking about a good friend that is deserving of my trust. We haven't known each other for that long. Known each other for that long, after all. Humph. What makes you think I'm not trying to drag you back? There was a tinge of threat in Wang Qiu's voice. Who are you out chortled and said, you'd be doing it for my own good even if you attempted to drag me back. Of course, I would resist. Wang Qiu grew quiet, but she had already arrived beside Who are you out and was looking sideways in his direction. Who are you out turned around and gave her a doubtful look. He met her radiant and piercing gaze, and he immediately felt a little embarrassed. You staring at me at such a close distance gives me a lot of pressure. Wang Qiu lowered her voice and said, It's really very dangerous. Is it truly worth it? Who are you out tilted his head slightly, and his eyes turned diagonally upwards to the sky. He spoke with a calm voice, almost as if this was a matter of fact. I thought about losing her and what would become of me. I realized that my entire world would turn gray, and I would no longer have any vitality. Perhaps I might even lose the will to live. That's when I realized, to my surprise, that her life had become more important than my own. Wang Qiu's eyes grew slack. Her big blue eyes flowed with incredulity. How? How is that possible? How can someone else's life be more important than your own? Is there something wrong with your brain? Who are you? I gave her a doubtful look and said, Why are you agitated? We will always have someone whose life is more important than our own. If my mother was still alive, her life would be more important than mine in much the same manner. Wang Qiu's powerful body started to quiver faintly. She lowered her head and muttered under her breath, Hey, a sentiment like this actually exists, where other people's lives are more important than your own, but only the strongest will survive, and we should do anything we can do to continue living, whatever the means. We only live once, and we won't get this life back once it's gone. Who are you? I answered plainly, You're right, we only live once. What you're talking about is the law of the jungle, but not the law of humanity. Humans have flesh, blood, and emotions. We are not soul beasts, and neither are we animals. We are humans. If everyone attempts to survive by doing anything he or she can whatever the means, and if everyone views his or her own benefits and interests as more important than anything else, how different would we be from wild beasts? The main thing that distinguishes us from beasts is our emotions and our sentiments, and the fact that we know how to love. Wang Qiu's eyes were completely blank. Her eyes went
Parental love is unconditional and selfless. Even though I lived in poverty as a kid, and I've never had a father, my mother's love for me was no less than what other parents have for their own children. Wang Qiu suddenly raised her head vigorously and said angrily, Nonsense. My parents never took care of me. They abandoned me from the day I was born, and they left me to live in a foreign environment. Do you know how much pain and suffering I've been through to survive? Have you experienced the isolation, the helplessness, the panic that nobody is around to help you, that you can just die at any moment? I only love myself. She was almost growling when she reached the last sentence. Huo Yuao was astonished by the intensity of her reaction, but he could also relate to that dejection in her heart. The resentment was faint, and only surfaced from time to time, but it was acute and extreme. This. What experiences has she been through? So much resentment has accumulated in the deepest recesses of her heart, to the point where it's almost impossible to believe. Strangely, they both grew silent. Huo Yuao didn't know how to console Wang Kiwa, and Wang Kiwa didn't seem like she could control her emotions, but she didn't attempt to express them anymore. That faintly discernible resentment vanished along with their words. They continued forward as Huo Yuao tried his best to determine their location, and the soul torment for that purpose appeared in his hands. It was already a challenge to determine the four cardinal directions inside the dense forest, but Huo Yuao relied on what the ultimate soldier plan had taught him, and he was sure he was on the right track. An hour passed before Huo Yuao made a gesture and immediately stopped walking. Let's take another break. How do you feel? He turned and asked Wang Kiwa. Wang Kiwa's emotions had settled down by now, but her charming face was as cold as ever. She shot a cold glance at Huo Yuao and said, I am now absolutely certain that the place you're heading towards is the source of the danger. You already feel danger, but have you realized that there seem to be fewer and fewer soul beasts the further we go? Huo Yuao frowned as he informed her. Wang Kiwa grunted coldly and said, That's what is most terrifying. Soul beasts inhabit this area, yet they cannot live here, even though they're extremely adaptable. That shows how dangerous this area is. I think it won't take long before we will encounter these dangers firsthand. Huo Yuao stared at her with a calm look and said, It's not too late to change your mind. Wang Kiwa said, Stop spouting nonsense. Let me ask you, Huo Yuao, is Wang Dong the person that you are willing to throw your life away to save? Hey. Huo Yuao glanced at her, astonished. Wang Kiwa continued, I've been thinking about it, and I figured that only she's worth it. Huo Yuao replied, You're wrong. My companions are also worth risking my life for. Wang Kiwa pressed on, and this time, is it her? Huo Yuao nodded his head lightly. Wang Kiwa's eyes froze momentarily, and she grew silent for a few seconds. I knew it. Huo Yuao said, Let's rest a little more. Did you not say that danger is about to come? He didn't continue Wang Kiwa. Didn't continue Wang Kiwa's topic because he realized that her eyes had become a little peculiar, to the point where her aura had changed. All right. Wang Kiwa didn't say anything else as she casually found a place to sit down. They sat opposite each other quietly while they rested. This break was relatively shorter, as they hadn't traveled for too long before this. Huo Yuao stood up again after 15 minutes and gazed forward into the distance. It was afternoon at this point, and there was still some time before evening. However, the temperature was starting to decline, and there was a crisp and cool feeling within the forest. There were far too few soul beasts within the setting sun forest at this moment. At least, Huo Yuao drew this conclusion from his observations as they proceeded in that direction. This sentiment hadn't been that intense when he had entered the Great Stardo Forest. There were many soul beasts within the Great Stardo Forest, and innumerable mighty entities among them. However, the setting sun forest's landscape seemed to reflect the seriousness of the damage that soul masters had inflicted on the world of soul beasts. Perhaps it wouldn't be long before the setting sun forest became just a normal forest. However, human soul masters needed to hunt and kill soul beasts to obtain soul rings if they wanted to increase their cultivation. This necessity would always lead to conflict and disharmony, unless all the soul beasts in the world went extinct one day. If that day did come, there would no longer be any soul masters, either. It was apparent that they would have to emphasize their research into spirits. However, even if their research was successful, the most they could do was reduce the need for soul beasts. The truth was that spirits still required soul beasts as a foundation. These thoughts flashed by one after another in Huo Yuao's mind. He was a gifted student from Shrek Academy, and he was clear on the fact that this conflict would erupt in the near future. It could take ten years, a hundred years, or a thousand years, but the human world would be adversely affected if soul beasts went extinct. After another millennium, the soul master profession would become ancient history and would no longer exist. Forget it. I'm not going to think about all that for now. No matter what happens in the future, obtaining that herb for Dongo is the most important task at hand. They raised their guard as they continued forward, as peril could descend upon them at any time. Wang Kiyo retrieved her golden dragon spear, and Huo Yuao stretched his spiritual detection to its limits, focusing in one direction from time to time. They moved forward for another 15 minutes. Even Huo Yuao felt a little unsettled at this point, and he had an ominous feeling that something was here that made him feel a little stifled and pressured. Wang Kiyo murmured, Wait. Huo Yuao immediately halted in his tracks and turned towards her. I also think something is amiss. How are you feeling? Kiyo. Wang Kiyo surveyed her surroundings as she lowered her voice and said, Have you realized that the light around us is a lot weaker than before? Hey. Huo Yuao had been using spiritual detection this whole time, but his spiritual detection was mainly focused on was mainly focused on soul beasts that could appear, and other sources of danger that could attack them in some way. Wang Qiu's reminder made him realize that this place was a lot dimmer than before. Can it be because the sky is getting dark? He rarely came to the northern regions, so he didn't know much about the weather in these parts. Wang Qiu shook her head and said, It's still afternoon. Even if we go further north, there can't be so little light. Furthermore, there are no clouds blocking the sun, and you can see the trees' shadows on the ground. Furthermore, we are comparing the sunlight now to how it was 15 minutes ago. How can the sky turn dark within such a short period of time? There is only one possibility that can cause the light to dim and weaken. The air. Air. Who are you out asked doubtfully? Wang Kiwa said, Don't you have spiritual detection? Concentrate it on a relatively small area and focus on what's inside. Observe and see how the air is changing in that space. And then jump up into the sky and perceive how different the air is up there from how it is down here. You should be able to discover something. All right. Who are you out answered slowly. Who are you out immediately focused his attention and used spiritual detection on the air in front of him. He discovered something different the moment he concentrated. Even his spirit eyes found it difficult to distinguish the fine dust that was drifting around through the air. These dust particles were pale white. They weren't big and dense, but they were floating stably. They were inside a tremendous forest, and the air inside the forest should be a lot better than the outside world. These dust particles clearly wouldn't be here under normal circumstances. Who are you out jumped into the air and activated his flying type soul tool. His body was propelled upwards as he searched into the sky. He pierced 10 meters above the canopy, and his vision instantly lit up, as if he had just broken through some barrier. Everything around him very bright and clear. Who are you out was still using spiritual detection, and he immediately discovered that the fine particles disappeared completely once he was out of the forest. He looked down toward the setting sun forest beneath him, but his naked eye couldn't distinguish anything. A thought flashed by in Huo Yuao's head. He continued channeling his flying type soul tool so that he could fly even higher up. Huo Yuao looked down once more when he went even higher, and he could finally see what was going on. The setting sun forest looked extremely calm, but there seemed to be a faint and thin fog floating around inside the forest. What made him even more astounded was the fact that this fog gradually dissipated and vanished where they came from, but it was a lot denser in the place they were heading towards. It felt as if a patch of cloud had descended on the forest, and even the vegetation was blurry and obscured. These clouds went just white, as he could even see multicolored hues in the distance. What? What is this? Huo Yuao didn't have too much time to think. He immediately returned
Who are you are contemplated momentarily, then said, It seems like it's not just because of soul masters hunting that there are so few soul beasts inside the settings on forest. This phenomena must also be closely connected to this miasma. Kiwa, you should turn back. It's too dangerous here, and there's no need for you to accompany me to face this peril. When Kiwa's eyes widened as she said, We have encountered a situation that normal human ability cannot fend off, and you still haven't changed your mind. Will you still go inside if you know that you will never come out alive? Who are you are answered, I have a solution for this. Even though this solution isn't perfect, it will increase our chances of venturing deeper within. However, it's quite dangerous. I must go inside the Donga, and I will never have the courage to go inside again if I back down today. Go back, Kiwa. Let me prepare. There was miasma in the air around them, but it was still relatively weak and thin. Their physiques were quite formidable, and it wasn't difficult for them to resist the miasma at this point. This was the reason why Huo Yuao had no intention of turning back. Huo Yuao released his altering self driving forward onto the open ground beside him and got to work. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.